So now that we have our roof on, when looking at the interior walls inside the home, I, I understand that we use frame, frame wall inside. Mm -hmm. There's uh, two different types. There's a bearing wall and a non-bearing wall. The bearing walls inside the home are actually wood framed. Uh, it's a stronger um, material, can be cut to size obviously. And then depending on the size, if there's a, an opening, a doorway, um, just a standard archway, any areas where there's a definite load, then different structural numbers are placed within there. Some areas we use a steel column, somewhere we actually use a PSL, it's a laminated beam or column that could potentially support a different size header, a longer span header if you have a, um, like a pocket door, if you've got a four foot pocket door, that actually needs an eight foot span for those two doors to actually span and retract into that, um, that bearing wall. So the, uh, the frame walls are all wood, again, all structurally designed. Um, we actually have to strap the, um, the walls from the floor to each stud up to the top plate and then to the trusses. So there's quite a bit of engineering and securing that needs to be done as part of those bearing walls. The non-bearing walls are metal studs. When I first moved to Florida, I, it, you only use that in commercial and it was thought to be just a, a quick and easy way to build the walls, but I am truly sold on the, the metal studs. It gives a nice straight wall. All the soffits are square and straight, and um, I, if I would ever build a new home, I would definitely be using the metal studs. Um, nice thing about it is they're already cut and notched, so any of the mechanics that has to run a wire through or the plumber has to bring a water line through those metal studs, they don't have to cut or notch or anything. They stay just in pristine um, condition when you install the rest of the mechanics. Great. And we've been asked, I know a lot of the time, um, so many of our homes inside of our design collection boast these beautiful sliders, whether eight foot or 10 foot. Is there any light you can shed as to how we can get away with that breathtaking 90 degree angle in some of our floor plans? Yeah, that takes some engineering. There's um, a couple different ways. You'll see some with columns, some will actually be a true 90 where they're intersect. And that whole load is being transferred again from the truss above. So it's just extending that out to another load bearing portion whether it's a, a solid poured concrete beam, an LVL, which is an engineered wood product, or in some cases, if we have a very long span, we use a steel ivy to create that, to be able to hold that truss all the way out at the end of the home to get those sliders in there. Definitely takes some engineering ingenuity, right? Yes, it does. Well, thank you so much for that.